Hi and welcome to another episode of Tales from the GIS. This is your host Edward Rocatello and I'll start today a new series of tutorial about Python and QJS. So we will see in this episode uh, a beginner introduction to Python in QJS, how to do basic things and accomplish complex tasks with Python. Let's open QJS. For this tutorial, we will need a resource from the UNESCO website. Actually, the World Heritage List. Go to the interactive map, scroll down, and click on the XLS format. You will need to accept the conditions. After doing that, you can download actually just clicking the world heritage list you will download an excel file that you will use in qjs so uh, let's first add a base map let's add the street map one and then we can uh, open the the file we have downloaded in QGIS, but let's mm, take a look to the content first. The, <clears throat> the file is quite large, it contains everything in the heritage list of UNESCO, and we will actually use the longitude, the lat latitude, and that are expressed in the WGS84 um, datum and actually we will use the name in English. Once we have saw this file, we need to convert it to the um, CSV format or text limited format to import it in QJS. So uh, sorry for the Italian interface, but click file, click save as and now you can choose uh, CSV here, CSV text, and we just click save and use the CSV text format. The field separator is okay as a comma, the, the string delimiter is okay as a double quote, so let's click okay, and we have it, save it as CSV. So now we can import it in QJS. So let's go back to QJS. Let's click add layer and add the limited text. Select the, the file and ensure we have the decimal separator is comma here as we set that before. Uh, if you set point, there is no need to dot. There, uh, if you set the, the dot as decimal separator, there is no need to check this value. And the point coordinates will be longitude and latitude as fields. So the X field will be longitude, the Y field will be latitude. Also remember to check first record as field names. Click if you want the field types that has been found and click add finally. Okay, now we have everything in the, in the map right clicking and open attribute table here so we now have a lot of things and maybe we want to keep this um, name with the latitude and the longitude also we can have the unique number the name in english and the position so uh, we may want to do this in python once we have everything set up here we can click just click a feature to have the identification using the identifier results and we want to export as we, we said before the name the longitude the latitude and the unique number next step to do is to open the python console from the plugins menu and then you will able to interact with qjs using python and the main object here is the iface uh, variable which is a link to the qjs interface 
Uh, for instance, we want to know uh, which is the active layer and we want to save it to a variable. I will assume you will know basic Python here. So if not, leave me a comment and ask uh, what, uh, what is your doubt or what is your question. So I'll be glad to answer. So I face active layer. It's a, it's a method, method of iFace variable which, which returns the active layer. We can save it to the layer variable and the layer variable will actually point to the QGS vector layer object here and we can know uh, what happens in that variable using the dir command. So if we do the dir command here in the mm, layer object, we will see every method which is available in the variable and the layer variable we have set. If you want to know everything about QJS, you can click the API documentation in PyG QJS. So I will open on the actual documentation, which is very large. So uh, if you have a doubt about something, you can check it out and we will use that in the future. But for the moment, we will just take confidence with the Python console. After we have the list of the methods available, we can actually browse, take a look for the one we want, but we want to list all the features in the layer, the active layer. So we want to use the get features method. So layers layer get features okay and this, we will get using this method the feature iterator so with a uh, basic of python we can do for f in layer get features and we can maybe print it's a lot of features Okay, what we have done here is let's go, let's take a look. As for every feature in the f in the in the layer, assign a variable f, which is actually have been printed in the console here. If we do the syntax here and you press enter, you will get in this interface and actually is a continuation of the line above. So what, <clears throat> what I have done here is to print F. So actually the uh, command is for F in layer get features, print F. Once we have written this, you, um, you will need to print, uh, to push enter twice. So we will get up again the, the list. Okay, this is not the best way to use Python in QJS. So let's see how we can do it better. Click the show editor button, which is a, an extension of what we have done here. And let's go to the untitled zero panel here and write everything back. So layer I face active layer and then for F in layer get act, uh, get features print F. Okay, now if we press play, we will execute again this. This is the correct way to use Python in QJS. We have the feature here. A row in this console is actually a 
correspondence will have the, the a match in the in the map so we may want to use a couple of tricks and what we can do is to actually inspect the attributes and to do that you will use the brackets and the name in single quote so maybe we want to know the name english and let's put in execution as you can see you will get the names here and another thing we can do is to crash QJS and oh, no, it's just angle for a little and uh, you can actually inspect every attribute here and we want to have the unique number also and we want to know where is actually the the point of the UNESCO hmm, heritage to do that we can extract the geometry from the not yet geometry but only geometry from the feature and let's save it into the geom variable and we can actually print the geometry and we can extract it as a point to do that we can use the 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 as a po as point method uh, if you click run you may see the wkt of every point in the map we can also know which is the y coordinate only and this is actually a good hint on how to work with this file so now we have the geometry and we may want to save everything here in a string to create a record use it as a print of a, a string so this is um, a python specific option we can format a string using data so let's write a comment and after that we will use the format um, so let's save the name first f name n hmm. after that we will save the unique number of the feature and then the geometry path so we can geom as point and the x coordinate and geom as point y coordinate okay let's go back here and delete those rows and uh, here we can add a couple of entries for the the name and the unique number and then add another few fields but actually we will use the uh, formatter here so we have maybe 2f take a look to the python syntax if you don't know what i'm doing here and the print record method then okay let's do it okay as you can see we have here the name the id and the um, longitude and the latitude maybe we want to bring it to six let's make make it break so okay as you can see now it works correctly we may want to save this in a file with a with option with it let's open a file and let's put it to path we want so maybe we want to save it in the in a temp file in the root of the uh, the file system and let's call it unesco csv and the mode will be right 
and the file will be named as file so let's indent what we have done before and then here we can change the record writing to the file so the file writes record okay with automatically close everything so let's save it i mean there is no temp directly in directory so let's add a temp one in the c driver c drive let's oh let's add a new one let's call it temp uh, execute it back okay let's go back to the temp and uh, as we can see it, the file got written okay oh there is something wrong here so we may want to fix this adding a new line at the end of the file let's write it again Okay, yes, please. That's now it's really okay. Uh, perfect. We have our list, and we may have done this using the QJS features. We may have removed all the fields we didn't want and saved the file uh, again, but we won't get a CSV um, like this easily. So this is the actual um, fastest method to extract something easily in QJS and we have done this using Python which is quite useful and really powerful in QJS. You can uh, work with everything in QJS as you will see in this set of tutorial we will inspect every aspect of QJS with the interaction between Python and QJS. Thank you for listening, leave me a comment if you want, and I hope this has been interesting to you. Remember to subscribe. Thank you for listening.